We shall now be pleased to hear from Ronald E. Pullman of the First Quorum of the Seventy. My remarks this morning are directed primarily to those of you who have accepted the gospel and are members of the church, and to those of you who may be seriously contemplating such acceptance and membership. Both the gospel of Jesus Christ and the church of Jesus Christ are true and divine. However, there is a distinction between them which is significant, and it is very important that this distinction be understood. And there is an essential relationship between them that is significant and very important. All right, Travis Wayne Goodsell. In this midst of a civil war that we have in the United States, which concerns blacks and slavery, because it's the right to vote. How did Joseph Smith know? And it's uh, actually history deniers that claim that the Civil War won was not about blacks. <sighs> All right. So the church news, I'm surprised. If you do not understand the church website for the church news, don't put whatever they want. You know, the supervisors involved don't say, you know what, I think we should talk about this subject. I think we should cover this subject. No, they're not independent. They are under orders of the First Presidency and Quorum of the Twelve. So whatever they put in there, they are authorized to put in there. The prophets know what's going in, so that there's no surprises as such. That's why they've changed conference, so that everybody's talk is edited first and foremost. Heaven forbid we should have another incident. Uh, was it? October Conference, 1984. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Can't have that. So, uh, the church, as I should point out first before I get into this, uh, Nelson has killed another Mormon. Uh, mission president in Bolivia. Gone. Nelson refused to shut down the church during this coronavirus. And therefore he is responsible for all Mormons who go back to church, go back to the temple, who go back out on missions. It is on his head. Blood is on Nelson's hands. The true God holds him accountable. Now, if you've been paying attention to my videos, especially lately, <clears throat> I've been discussing about how the Doctrine and Covenants is coded and that certain passages, certain sections, were put in at different times. And I've gone over with you that there's a Wikipedia website that goes over all of this. They tell us this information, that uh, this person, Mormon, is uh, doing this article on under the orders of the church, the prophets. And so, yeah, I'm surprised. Nelson usually waits until after his Thursday meetings to give his weekly response to my videos. <laughs> they decided to jump the gun on this one and do it today. 
<laughs> so I get to cover it. And, and so, yeah, the article is how the Doctrine and Covenants has changed over the years. And so they talk about how there was a version of the Book of Commandments in 1831 that the conference there determined that that's what they were going to do. And the Evening and Morning Star published uh, those as well. And then uh, 1833, uh, that version uh, was uh, attacked as mobs destroyed the print press. And uh, that's the story where a little girl saved 64 pages, 64 and a half chapters. Uh, uh, to preserve those early revelations, if you're familiar with that story. Uh, but what they're, let's see, uh, it was in the 1835 one. Uh, or, no, it was in the... I'm trying to remember when the Lectures on Faith was made. I'll have to look it up here, so let me give you... I had a Mormon today get irate. He didn't even know I was Mormon. <laughs> it was hilarious. I had to ban him, of course. Why are you attacking me on my channel <laughs> if you don't like what, I, what you're hearing? He kept listening to videos. I, I don't understand. <laughs> Lectures on faith. Wikipedia. Uh, let's see. Really? Oh, okay, it's just a summary. I was going to say, they offer the whole thing. I should have the lectures myself, but again, packed. And I've gone over that story. Alright, yeah, in the 1835 edition. Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, so, printed in Kirtland, Ohio, 1835. Copies contain seven lectures on faith and 103 Revelations. The 1876, if I understand correctly, they, she doesn't mention it here. I believe that was the version that they took out the Lectures on Faith. And the edition was accepted. There's an appendix known as Section 133. All right, and then the 1844, uh, they don't give us the month. <laughs> it was after Joseph died. This is by Brigham Young. Uh, and so 103 sections, and you have to go to the Doctrine and Covenants Wikipedia page because she's purposely leaving out certain scripture sections. Because she says, section 111, 111, now section 135, a tribute to Joseph and Hiram Smith was added. Uh, and then she says, it included the 103 sections from the 1835 edition plus seven additional items. She could have listed it. Uh, just section blah, 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 blah. Just like the Wikipedia page did. She couldn't go that extra mile? No, because the prophets told her not to. She has to be edited by the person in charge. And so the prophets are involved. No, you will not put what was added. And so there you have it. Uh, you'll have to go to the Wikipedia page for the correct information about what was added. It is important to know when certain sections were added. Because we get to the one uh, in 1876. Uh, wasn't that the year he died? Yeah, oh, 77. Okay, yeah. So the year before he died. And so 75 would have been uh, when he was arrested by his latest ex. 
and thus what was added in this edition was section 132. Now, so many problems with section 132. I can't even begin to tell you. And so you'll have to watch all the various videos talking about it. <laughs> but yeah, it was Brigham who wrote it and attributed it to Joseph Smith. There is no previous record. It wasn't in the Times and Seasons. It, no. It's not even in the linguistic style and manner. Because all of us have a unique linguistic fingerprint, so to speak, that is distinct, that people can use to determine who wrote what. Thus the Book of Mormon. Um, wait a minute, why are contemporary people like Sidney Rigdon in the Book of Mormon? And so, yeah, there's one missing, though. She was ordered to not put in Section 85. And because they know I'm watching them, and they're watching me, and they know what I'm talking about in my videos, and they know what to leave out, so that they know that I will know that they left it out, Section 85. They left out Section 85. 26 new sections were added, including Sections 2, 13, 109, 110, 112 to 123, 132, and 36. <laughs> Again, you have to go to the Wikipedia page to see section 85 or if you can obtain this edition and obtain the previous editions so that you actually go through and fact check Wikipedia to find out oh, okay it is true <laughs> that's your other option uh, where did I somebody said or wrote uh, for all you lazy people, here it is. <laughs> and I wanted to take that for my videos. And so, there you go. <laughs> like the Mormon who I had to ban today. Who kept watching my videos so that he can post hate comments. I've gone over those videos. I purposely did not want to do another one of those videos where I point out how Mormons are not being Mormon by doing such things. You have to show respect. If you cannot soundly and calmly defend Mormonism, why are you even a Mormon still? If you can't defend it with truth, why are you still a Mormon? You know, if I pursue the truth, I know the Book of Mormon is true. I know Joseph Smith is true and good. Why don't you? <laughs> it's just not the manner in which you've been born and raised to believe. The church has been lying to us. And by pursuing the truth, I know there's nothing to fear except the current church. So, wow. They left out section 85. <laughs> that one is published in the Times and Seasons. And so we know that one's legitimate. <laughs> section 132? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Nope. And in fact, Nope, she does not touch it. Section, the uh, chapter on marriage, monogamy, was removed in this edition, and section 131, where Joseph is talking to a monogamous couple and says, you two, monogamous couple, will be exalted in the temple through your ceiling. Nope, gotta get rid of it. Make way for 132, 
which just appears out of nowhere. Creatio ex nihilo. <laughs> Attribute it to Joseph Smith. Oh, yeah, uh, he, yeah, 1831. Although I did the video on Brigham Young, uh, 21st of June, or, yeah, no, yeah, 1874, I believe is the date, where uh, Brigham Young confesses, nope, polygamy was my idea. And then he lies and says, well, I told Joseph, and then Joseph finally implemented it in 1843. Which means Joseph never had the angel appear to him in 1831. That means Joseph was not practicing it in secret. That means Joseph did not have an affair with his 15-year-old housemaid. Do you see how someone's lie can expose truth? Just like Nephi in the Book of Mormon, who's in his mansion at the highway, and the chief judge is murdered, and so he tells them how to expose the murderer. Then we have the 1921 edition, which works perfectly. Thank you, President Nelson, <laughs> for tomorrow's <laughs> a planned video, the Wednesday video for their Thursday meeting. <laughs> and so here we have five apostles, Legrand, or George F. Richards, Anthony Ivins, Joseph Fielding Smith, James E. Talmadge, one of the intellectuals in 1922, Melvin J. Ballard reviewed the Doctrine and Covenants. They recommended adding 20 sections, but none were added. It's not known what previously, what, what are known previously which selections they were. Well, John Taylor's were taken out. <laughs> Why were they taken out? Well, because he sort of endorsed polygamy, and the government was sort of, you know, clamping down during Wilfred Woodruff's time. <laughs> Disincorporating the church. Uh, let's see. They recommended adding 20 sections. Why did you repeat that? Oh, no, you didn't repeat it. Okay. Uh, the manifesto. Bingo! <laughs> was labeled as the official declaration. Ah, there it is. This was when Lectures on Faith was removed. Yep. They had to remove it because of my video for planned for tomorrow. Thank you, President Nelson. <laughs> He thinks he's got the upper hand, and he doesn't understand. He's already on the losing team. <laughs> you lost once you began to do battle with me. <laughs> oh, dear God. And so there's the 1981 edition, which I've been telling you about as well. And so, yes, he's replying here. And I did the little video insert this morning about the 2009 edition but they're not ta talking about the 2009 edition they're skipping right to the 2013 edition and she lies 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 on what was done but uh, 8 1981 edition uh, two revelations that were in the Pearl of Great Price uh, are made Doctrine and Covenants yeah they're made sections in the Doctrine and Covenants and then uh, uh, 1978 revelation on the priesthood <laughs> it wasn't revelation it's an official declaration <laughs> it was not revelation and there's a backstory behind that I've done the video but like a billion years ago and a billion videos ago uh, section 107 uh, 27 
uh, the, the verse that goes over how each quorum in the church, and they use the two examples above, but uh, all quorums, and when I was doing the what became the 2009 edition of Spanish language, uh, it was utilized as well, as I've talked about. Uh, but uh, uh, everybody in the quorum must be in complete agreement, or nothing gets done, nothing gets changed, nothing gets done. That's why there are still so many errors that are being carried over into the Spanish edition in 2009. is because there were a certain person who refused to make the necessary changes, such as insisting that homosexuality was the cause of the destruction of Sodom rather than utilizing scripture from Ezekiel. And so that didn't get changed. And Israel, as I've been doing, also did not get changed in the Spanish edition. Oh dear God, when I did that video with you guys, oh, I just, I couldn't believe it. We were ordered to get rid of all of that. And there it was in the Spanish edition. And like I said in this morning's video, one simple error can alter the church in the wrong direction for decades. And Israel has not only done that, but it got to the president of the church who perpetuated the incorrect information over the conference of pulpit of conference pulpit of conference. <laughs> and so yeah, that's the 2009 edition that she did not put in here. She was told not to <laughs> because I've been telling you about it. Yep, and so, yep, they're really saying, um, okay, um, um, okay, we need to send Travis a message, <laughs> and so then 2013, section headings were altered to incorporate new historical research, in other words, Bruce R. McConkie got it wrong. <laughs> Bruce R. McConkie did the 1981 edition, all the chapter headings. And I'm willing to bet they didn't change all of them, because they rejected changing Tamar being called a whore. So I'm pretty sure that did not get changed. Um, let's see, historical introductions to the official declarations were added. Did I tell you about, yeah, the apostles and prophets were, were never in agreement to give blacks the priesthood until finally in 1987, 78, switching my numbers around. What is that called when you switch your numbers around? <laughs> and, uh, and so, yeah. I still remember the conference lying on my mom's lap as an eight-year-old boy just turned 18 in March and uh, all of a sudden I'm awoken by the whole audience murmuring <laughs> it was an all-white audience and uh, I had no clue what was going on tried to go back to sleep I think but I don't think my mom let me at that point but, uh, yeah, I was kind of surprised, and there was, who I didn't know who he was at the time, but was an Eldon Tanner who was making the announcement for the church. Uh, let's see, and then footnotes, let's see. Footnotes were changed. <laughs> 
Oh, sweetie, you messed this up. They ordered you to lie. Uh, they put footnotes in to correspond with the Bible guide, Bible dictionary, and topical guide. Uh, and then, uh, so the 2013 uh, minor spelling and punctuation errors were corrected, and here. They claim footnote and index errors were corrected. Lie, <laughs> lie, lie. <clears throat> yeah, we'd have to actually get the 2013 edition, compare it with the 1981 edition to find out what exactly. But when I was doing the 2009 edition, we asked, are you going to make this an addition for uh, English speakers? Nope, have no plans. The prophets didn't want this. There's still some people who are still living. Ballard. <laughs> and so, yeah, and until he dies, it will not be changed. So all of the changes in the 2013 edition did not involve Ballard. <laughs> So, uh, there you go. But I'm willing to bet they did not put in any of my recommendations. If anything, uh, well, no, they were in the 2009. So, yeah, I'm, yeah. I was the golden ticket, remember? I was untouchable. If they touch me, then that means they're going against Jesus, who was the one who put me in that position. So they, they can't touch me. And so yes, I'm well aware. I was told, don't put your own opinions in the footnotes. You can dramatically alter the views and doctrines of the church for decades. And like I said, no, there's a scripture that we need to link this to, David. No, it's homosexuality! And so, I'm willing to bet that was not one of them that was changed. <laughs> With new printings, minor adjustments were made as needed. So, yeah. No, they will not put out the edition that we made in English. You don't have to learn Spanish or one of the other languages that incorporates the guide to the scriptures. That's just how it is. So if you went on a mission to a foreign language, you therefore got those scriptures that I was instrumental in, in helping to put the church back on course as best as they would allow me. Like I said, they denied a number of things. So. But yeah, I thought that was amusing that Nelson responded to me today, of all days, <laughs> and so quickly, <laughs> and purposely left out certain things in the article for you guys. Because how many of you are going to even think to check to find out what those other sections were? <laughs> None of you. For those of you who are lazy, <laughs> here you go. 